In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this stunning map animations on your mobile phone using only free tools. Let's get started. To download free maps, go to vmaps.com. You'll find a huge collection of country and continent maps. If you already know how to download maps, skip to the next part. By the way, I made this video on request from one of my subscribers. So if there's a specific type of map animation tutorial you want to see next, just drop it in the comments below. Just tap the one you need, scroll down, and hit download. Now let's download the Asian map. Head back to vmaps.com and scroll to find Asia. Select the map you want. Make sure it's the right one for your animation. Once you've chosen, just hit download and you're ready to add it to your project. Once the download is complete, open your Files app. You'll see a zipped folder, just tap on it to unzip. Then save the map you need to your phone, and we're ready to go. Now open your CapCut app and start a new project. I always go to the library to choose backgrounds, so I'll select this black image as my background. I'm going to increase the duration of the background so I don't have to keep adjusting it later. Now I'll tap on Overlay and add the grid line image. This will act as our background for the animation. Same here. I'll increase the duration of the grid background as well so it stays on screen throughout the animation. Now once again I'll hit Overlay and add the Asia map that we downloaded earlier. This will be the base for our animation. We need to increase the duration for every clip to make sure everything stays in sync throughout the animation. This map looks a bit dull, so to change the colors, I'll scroll to the right and tap on Adjust. Then I'll go into Graphs and tweak the colors just like I'm doing here. This looks great now, but the map just pops in. So we need to add an animation. I'm selecting this one because it looks really smooth and clean. To give the animation a quick, snappy motion, I'll reduce the duration to 0.3 seconds. This makes the movement faster and more eye-catching. Perfect for shorts. It looks like this now. To create a smooth zoom effect, I'll move a bit further along, add a keyframe, and scroll to about one second. Then I'll zoom into the map, and it'll create this nice zoom-in effect. To make the transition even smoother, we'll add a quad-in effect. To do this, hit the graph icon next to the keyframe, and select quad-in. This will smooth out the movement, giving it a more natural feel. And here we need to zoom in the background as well to match the map animation. So add keyframes at the same points as the map, and then zoom in slightly to keep everything moving together smoothly. Now tap on Overlay and add the map we downloaded earlier. Carefully resize it so it fits perfectly over the base map. Make sure all the edges align. Once the map fits perfectly, scroll to the right and tap on Adjust. Now change the graph settings just like I'm doing to give it the color and look you want. Right now, the map just appears instantly. To make it smoother, scroll to the right and tap Mask. Then choose Circle. Place the circle in the center and shrink it down using the handles. Now tap Adjust and set the feather to 50%, and add a keyframe in the beginning of the clip. Go a bit further on the timeline, then set the feather back to zero and increase the circle size. This creates a smooth reveal effect like this. To add the country name, tap on the text button and select Add Text. Type the name of the country. Then tap on Font and choose Fervent. And if you don't see it, just search for it using the search bar.
To change the color, go to Styles and set the text color to black. Right now the text appears instantly, so to make it smooth, go to Animation and add a fade in effect. Set the duration of this animation for 0.7 seconds. Our animation looks like this so far. To add a dark overlay effect behind the map, tap on Overlay, go to Library and select a black background. Resize it so it fully covers the screen. Now scroll to the right, tap Layers and move the black background behind the country map but in front of the base map. Then go to Splice and reduce the opacity to 65% so it blends in nicely. Finally, tap on Animation. Add a fade in and set the duration to 0.7 seconds. The result looks good but not complete yet. Watch this part closely and listen carefully. At around 2 seconds, start by adding keyframes to all clips, whether it's the background or the country map itself. Then go forward to 7 seconds and add keyframes to each clip again. Now zoom in on the map to create the movement effect. At this point, I had forgotten to extend the duration of the country map and the black background, so I had to increase their durations first, then add the same keyframe 7 seconds, and zoom into the country map so it perfectly fits over the base map. This is the result, but as you can see the text seems a bit out of sync. To fix that, I'll tap on the text and increase its duration, and then add keyframes at the same points as the other clips. At 7 seconds, I'll position the text in the center and slightly zoom in. Now I'll keep adjusting it until everything is perfectly synced with the animation. After all this, our animation is looking really good. But to spice it up and give it a more cinematic look, let's add some effects. Tap on Effects, then Video Effects, and select the Vignette effect. Just like every other element, make sure to increase the duration for this effect as well. Then tap on Object and select all videos, so the effect applies to everything. And here's the result so far. But there's one important element we still need to add. Go to Effects, then tap on Video Effects and add the Play Pendulum effect. If you can't see it, search for it in the search bar. To apply it on everything, hit Object and then select all videos. The effect is very strong. You can adjust the settings as you like, or feel free to copy my settings for the same look. I am increasing the duration for this as well. And that's how you can create a smooth and professional looking map animation right from your phone using CapCut. If you found this helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and drop a comment if you have any questions or want more tutorials like this. And if you want to learn how to add and animate text or labels in more detail, check out my next video. It's linked in the description.